Hey, hi all, welcome once again to my channel and today I have come back with another exciting video on Lambda. So today I'm going to talk about how you can deploy your code to Lambda function. So there are two ways that the service provides of deploying your changes to your function. One is by creating a zip archive deployment package and the second one is by creating and deploying a container. So what we are going to show you in this video is I will create a deployment package. So what is deployment package you can ask? So it is a zip archive file that comprises of the business logic and along with that the additional modules or dependencies that your code need for execution. Okay. And uh, there is a catch here. The service provides a hard limit of 250 MB for your zip archive file and a 10 GB hard limit is for your container images. Okay. So we are also going to talk about another uh, feature that the service provide, which is layers. So in case uh, the, you find you want to make your deployment package much more lighter, then you can bring in layers here in this case. So what are layers? Layers are also zip archive files, but they do not contain the business logic. They comprise of the additional modules and dependencies that you code need for execution. And another good thing about layers is it is it can be shareable across multiple functions. Okay, so we'll quickly uh, I will turn off my video over here, and uh, I will quickly go to this specific link. You can see that what happens with layers uh, with and without layers. So there are uh, normally uh, libraries and assets and binaries which your deployment package needs which your business logic needs okay but what they can be done is they can be if you find that multiple functions have a common uh, libraries or binaries or dependencies you can form a zip archive file and then you can that uh, zip archive file can be distributed or can be reutilized across multiple functions okay so I will quickly go to my Lambda console to demonstrate this, uh, demonstrate uh, how a deployment package is created and then I will show you how a layer is created and it can be utilized and shared across the functions. So I have created a simple Lambda function here in this case and what it does, it simply prints the default version of Boto3. So Boto3 is the SDK for Python that is used to interact with different API services for AWS. And uh, here what I'm doing is simply printing the version. So currently for Python runtime 3.10, the version of Boto3 is 1.26.90. So in case uh, someone wants to utilize a latest version of Boto3, what they can do is simply create a deployment package along with this uh, lambda handler code and you and uh, ship it to your uh, lambda environment how by either uploading it as a zip archive file or providing an amazon s3 location so what i am going to do is in order to create a deployment package i will initiate a cloud shell session so you can either utilize ec2 instance or even cloud9 instance so basically what you have to do you need to ensure that the compilation of your modules or the executables they are supported in the lambda execution environments because lambda execution environments are basically based out of amazon linux 1 and amazon linux 2 operating systems so now my cloud shell session is up so cloud shell is basically a browser based uh, shell platform that aws provides and it comes up with all the installed dependencies so what i will gonna do in this current directory i will create a dep pack folder so inside the pack folder i will go and i will create a lambda underscore handler dot pi file okay and here i will just write quickly the code import a uh, boro3 and i will define my function and let me che check what what's the handler that i'm going to give in this case minimize this okay lambda function underscore lambda handler so here 
I will give lambda underscore handler and here event comma context and I will simply print the imported Moto3 version Moto3 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore okay that looks good so I'll save this file and along with that as I've shown you the early version of Boto3 execution was giving uh, the, the a different older version and not the latest one so I will just install in the same directory pip uh, I have to use pip3 version here since we're using Python version 3 so for making it more compatible and here I install Moto3 and yes the installation is done here you may ignore whatever that comes up in the rate patch so currently let's see the current directory structure what we have so in the depth pack directory we have lambda handler.py and along with that we have all the dependencies that we have added so in Boto3 for the for installation of Boto3 there are other uh, libraries that are required and all those are getting uh, installed here with the help of pip3 command so now my task would be to zip this all archive files all, all these files into an archive file which is zip and I'm zipping all the contents okay so all the contents are packed here and if I come so I will be able to see a deppack.zip so in case you want to see the content of this deppack.zip you can utilize this unzip-l and you will be able to see the current directory structure okay so cool once that is done I'm going to change the permission status for deppack.zip and I'll quickly check once again this is important because the minimum permission that you should give for a deployment package is 755 and you can see I have given 775 uh, permissions okay now I will push it to my this deployment package to my existing s3 bucket deppack.zip and and my bucket name and and okay i missed a cp command here so we are basically copying it yeah and the copy is done so i will minimize this and i will go to my deployment package that got uploaded here and i will click on it i'll copy the s3 uri i'll go to my functions and here I will select you you can if you have downloaded the zip file in your local you can upload it from here or you can specify the s3 location so I'm going to specify my s3 location here you can either is the endpoint you the URI uh, you can either specify this object URL or the s3 UI URI okay so let me save it quickly so it's updating the function and it's performing the deployment now meanwhile again once again uh, i will create an event here in this case so it's a test event i'll quickly go down or on the top here just to save it and i will click on test button no module named a uh, lambda handler function okay so this type of error can come up so let's troubleshoot it together in order to see that unable to import lambda module error so with what we are going to think we're going to see is lambda underscore function and no module name in the lambda underscore function okay so we messed up one thing so i will come up here again and let's see our deployment package what we did we have given the lambda function name file name something different 
So it's lambda underscore function and you're observing lambda underscore handler. So you sometimes land up with this error that handler not found. So basically it's looking out for a lambda underscore function file and inside that it's looking for a lambda handler function, lambda handler uh, method. Okay, so we are going to change it. You can either change it or you change the deployment package. You can click over here and you can change the file name. It's basically lambda. I, what I have used here is handler. So lambda handler and dot lambda handler. So this is your file name that you specify and this is the method. Okay, let's save it. I'll quickly come over here and I will again click on the test button and the execution has succeeded and if you want to check the logs you will find that it is uploaded with the latest version of boto 3 which is 1.26.151 cool so this was the demonstration how deployment package uh, can be uploaded and can be created so in my next video uh, it, it's going to be a continuation you will be observing how a layer is created so boto 3 i'm going to uh, implement it as a layer of create the archive file and I will be uploading it. And then in my third video, I will be creating a container and I will show you how a container image is deployed into your Lambda environments. Okay. So thank you all for visiting uh, again to this channel and please feel free to like, share and subscribe. I will see you soon in the next continuation video. Bye for now.